Ah! Woo. Hello, hello. Happy New Year to you. It's January 3rd. Yeah, we made it. And one of my goals on my goal board that's over there behind me uh, is to try to make a video every day. So here it is. Um, oh my God. Now I know another goal I need to put down. I need to, uh, my goal, one of my big goals is to hit, is to become top rated seller on eBay. I need to write that down. So this is what sold this morning slash last night. Not a lot, but you know, if I hit, if I, if I get, no, not if, when I get top rated seller, this is going to be like nothing because what I've heard, hopefully, what I've heard is when you get top rated seller, things just change. You make so much more sales and you get a lot more traffic. They just like hand feed you traffic. So let's go top rated seller. Um, I'm like right there. I have all the box checked except for one. Um, and it's basically, uh, I'm trying to like get rid of the, the bad, like when people open, um, open, um, cases against you. The thing is I actually opened a lot of cases against myself without even knowing, uh, when someone was asking, can you please, uh, cancel this order? I would be like, no problem, no no questions asked, I don't care. And I would just say, um, or I would just click uh, buyer, I mean, not buyer. I would click uh, don't have shipping or defected and then just relist it. <sighs> that was a no-no. I hurt myself. I hurt myself. When, they, when, when that had happened, I should have clicked buyer requested but I was just clicking like literally the first one and boom like it doesn't matter it does matter a lot now that I know because I have over I have over 13 um defect products and I guess that's really bad for the ratio of things I sell I need to sell more things to to like make that ratio smaller so where I can get in the range to become top rated seller. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, I'm trying to just punch out sales so where I can get those metrics met. So these sold, these are uh, I sold these as men. Uh, I hopefully, hopefully they are men. It's size, it's size, it's size uh, 31. 30 they are Levi's uh 12 I mean 216 skinny fit I mean the thing about jeans I feel like most women can wear men jeans but men can't wear most women jeans most men because you know our structures are bigger and then I've heard from a few women that men jeans are actually more comfortable um so ladies if you see men my men jeans out because i know a lot of people get thrown off by the word men and women um i feel like it's partial marketing and uh and then some men will not buy anything that says women's on it i personally cannot not that I would, but I cannot physically because I am 6'5 and I'm 340 pounds. So most women clothes do, would not fit me. There was a nice woman jeans out there that fit me, that fit me very comfortably, then maybe. But no. Um, but on the flip side... A few women have told me that they wear men jeans because it's more comfortable. And it's not like, oh, 
Um, well, it, I guess it doesn't even matter. I was going to say it's like baggy or not baggy. It's like if your size, if you if your size is 31 to um, 30, it, it doesn't matter if it's men or women. Like if you buy the men's jeans and you say and you think the cut feel uh, fits better on you, wear the men's jeans. If not, don't. So this is my first one. This one actually, the person hasn't paid yet. They offered me uh, an offer for sixteen dollars. I had it had it up for thirty. Then I had discount on it for which made it down to twenty two. They offered me sixteen. I'm like whatever. These pants were random a random pickup. I did not know this brand. I just picked them up because I'm like, okay. Um, turns out these pants sell all day for $30. Um, in good condition. These are in good condition except for the hems. The hems, the hems, the hems, the hems, the hems. They are um, a little rubbed um, or however you want to say it distress a little but they're not the worst they're not the worst they i've seen worse and some people actually like when their pants look like they've been worn have some wear to it and some people prefer a good clean hem some people what they do is when they buy used jeans because jeans can be expensive um i actually went to the mall the other day for the first time in years and didn't I didn't realize how expensive jeans are. Jeans are like fifty, sixty, seventy dollars. And I did not realize that. And here I am, uh, for the first few weeks selling all my jeans for like nine dollars. Someone did actually offer me five or nine dollars on these jeans over the weekend, and I was just like, no, nah, I'm good. Um and they offered multiple times and I was just like, no. So, I don't know if it's the same person that offered me nine dollars. They uh, then they came back and off this morning, they offered me um sixteen. I don't know, but that is that. These these are I was reading. These are designed in Canada. I don't know if they are made in Canada, but they are designed in Canada. Um, just like how um iPhones are designed in america but manufactured in china or mexico i think playstations are made in mexico and i think maybe some of them are made in canada i don't know but um a new brand to look out for i've definitely seen this brand a few times i just never picked them up and and i decided this one time let me Pick this thing up, and when I got home, I was surprised to see that these these pants, these jeans, sell for thirty dollars um, all day on eBay. So that's cool. Uh, Big Smith. This is a thick. I assume it's a working jacket. Probably for like you know in the Midwest or somewhere. Where it gets cold, but still need I don't know, I don't I don't know nothing about cold weather states, but it's thick. Um, what size are you? It's a large, okay, and yeah, it's it's a it's a jacket, and it's thick and heavy. It's heavy with a hoodie and whatnot. I don't know what to say about this jacket other than I also the only reason why I picked this up is because I myself is looking for I'm look I want to buy um probably one or two um overalls and and I was looking at the car 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 here car to hair car here car to hair that brand and I was looking at overalls and then the Car Carhier brand overhauls are a hundred dollars in my size. And I saw this brand, Big Smith, 
and um, I just have it saved in my eBay card. I haven't pulled the trigger yet because um, I don't really buy a lot of things for myself. Um, and I'm like, oh, that's that brand I saw on eBay. So that's why I bought this. This sold for $20. So that was nice for the person not hassling, hassle with me. This is a Banana Republic, I forgot what you call this thing. Uh, um, I just picked it up and I'm like, oh, Banana Republic. Uh, uh, and I'm like, I've seen someone wear something like this before. Uh, what would you call this thing? It's a sweater? It's a car a cardigan. A cardigan. There we go. It's a cardigan made out of lamb wool and nylon and mol uh, model model and cashmere. I don't know what model is. Malay? Malay? Mal Malay, is that Malay right there? Oh I will get some of that lamb wool. So this sold, I believe, for twelve dollars. I'm pretty sure I could have sold it for more, but I had it on discount, and I honored the discounts that I get, that 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 I put, because I put a massive discount on everything, and then whatever it is, it is. So, but that you know whatever, and I guess, uh. Oh, yeah, some shoes, some Brooks shoes sold, but I haven't pulled those out. Here they are right here. I mean, click on it. Didn't sell them for much. $8, $8.44. Um, as you can see, there's some wear, so that's why they're at that price. And... I also am waiting. I have other things that people have ordered, but not have paid for. I'm waiting for a shipment? No, waiting for. I'm waiting for payment. So, I'm waiting for. Oh yeah, so the silver jeans. This person needs to pay. Oh, am I putting people's info out there? Sorry. Um, then I have, um, a Honda, well, it's not really, it. it's uh, a Honda, um, headlight, I'm waiting for them, someone to pay, a Nickelodeon shirt, and a Nike's hoodie that needs to be paid for. So I have one, two, three, four, four things that's on the back order that, that people need to pay for. Hopefully they pay for them by, before the day ends so where I can ship it out and get it going. And what I'm gonna start doing is putting little treats, the little treats in the packages. Maybe maybe for the people that really lowball me, I might give them the the root beer or the banana flavored, if there is banana flavored. Like that's what you get. For, for lowballing me. Uh, or most likely, if not lowballing, I'm not going to give them. If someone really lowballs me and I take it, I'm not giving them candy. It's like, get out of here. Something else I want to talk about real quick is something I picked up. Is this gigantic trench coat. And I randomly picked it up. I'm like, oh, it looks like from the movies from the 20s. A trench coat. And then, um, I don't want to butcher the last name, so I'm not going to say it. I need to, need to, I did some research on it. It was just a random pickup for me. And turns out this is a vintage trench coat that, I've, from a brand that does, that's no longer around that people love buying. And... This trench coat goes f for like three to six hundred dollars. So let me see how where this goes. I need to take better pictures because I literally the pictures I took of it was just like bing bang bong bong. <laughs> if you see these dogs outside, you know it's going. Yeah. Um. So 
I want to take more detailed pictures of it because it's it is in really good condition. Uh, not really. There's not really much flaws on it, other than this belt is like needs to be not scrunched up. And then obviously there is like some wear. These I think the companies uh stop stop like making things in the eighties. Maybe maybe even earlier than that. I think I pulled that number out of nowhere. <laughs> I'm lying, y'all. I don't even know where that number came from, the eighties. But what I did look, what I did find that, um, I think the company started like in the twenties and the guy who started it or the guys who started it, um, they, they, um, they were explorers. They traveled the world and did things. So the clothing brand is supposed to like reflect that. So yeah very long this is it's a size medium and oh let me open it up it's doubled this is what the inside looks like as you can imagine look at that yeah okay and then the back, why does the back open up like that? I don't know. And then the pockets, the side pockets lead into the jacket. So where I guess you can, you can get something out of your pants pockets. And I, there's pockets in here, there's pockets out here. There's pockets everywhere, there's pockets here. But maybe I should make a more detailed video and do a photo shoot for this. And yeah, Willis. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. Willis and Gregor. Oh, I hope that's how you say it. Outfitters. But yeah. Uh, someone. If someone buys that, I'm giving them not one, but two. Lollipops. Uh, something I need to take pictures of. The this uh, rubber ducky. This uh, and uh, this Nintendo game holder thing. Took pictures of these already, and then there's some more game related stuff that I bought over the weekend. But yeah, that's that's the end of this uh, video. Look out for more. Uh, you know the corny saying, like, subscribe, and comment. I don't know if that's how you say it, but comment, subscribe, and like. Follow if you can, if you like. And yeah, hopefully the, vi the videos get better. And I, over the, over the course of this year, you know, things get better. So I uh, hope to see you guys soon again. Bye.